Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks to all the new subscribers, and thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos. Um, it's time to get back to basics, which is talking about nutrition, which is what I love to do. It's probably what I do best. So today I wanted to go over vitamin C and iron absorption. Iron is kind of one of the most important trace minerals we need. It's almost a major mineral, and so in a way it kind of acts as both a trace and a major mineral. It rides the line between the two uh, more than any other mineral. So iron is necessary for oxygen transport in blood. It's vital for our life processes and a major factor in cardio performance. It's also necessary for energy production in the mitochondria and in general muscles. Muscle cells are packed with mitochondria. Thus the cartoon Popeye depicts depicts that if you eat iron-rich foods like spinach, you can get big muscles. <laughs> but the cartoon was kind of a farce. First, eating food doesn't grant you strong muscles instantly. Actually, nothing grants you strong muscles uh, instantly, not even steroids. Exercise is the only stimulus that grants you bigger muscles, and it's not instantaneous. But that's a whole other video. Popeye was a farce because the iron in spinach has low bioavailability, meaning it's not very absorbable. That's due to the oxalates in spinach, which bind up the iron. Some people use this as an argument against eating plants that because the iron in some plants has low bioavailability, it's inferior. But there's a nutrient found in other plants that actually boosts the absorption of iron. That nutrient is vitamin C. All Popeye had to do was eat the spinach with some lemon vinaigrette or chase it with a glass of OJ even if he had some vitamin C before his spinach binge, say a vitamin C tablet, um, or even some fresh juice earlier in that morning, he'd probably have enough vitamin C free flowing through his blood to help maximize the iron absorption. Vitamin C is water soluble. It absorbs into and, free, and, and flows freely through our blood. So when I eat a high iron breakfast in the morning, which is often oats, molasses, and cocoa powder, ground flaxseed, I make sure I drink the juice of one lime either before or directly after, or I just drink my favorite homemade juice all morning because it's high in vitamin C. Most importantly, I try to do this all before I start drinking my morning coffee. I am a coffee drinker, but caffeine, particularly from dark beverages like black tea and coffee, can inhibit vitamin C absorption, which may jeopardize iron absorption. Because people are becoming more addicted to caffeine and more, more reliant upon it for wakefulness, I find it's best not to reach directly for it in the morning, uh, not only because you should not become accustomed to waking up naturally with a stimulant, but once you start drinking it, you're going to be inhibiting your vitamin C absorption and ultimately reducing your iron absorption. Vitamin C and iron are very important nutrients. Um, they go hand in hand for excellent day-to-day -day health and also to maximize your fitness. I'll be covering each of these topics a little bit more in depth in the future, uh, even why iron from plant sources is actually superior to, not inferior to, iron from meat. But for now, eat your leafy green vegetables, get your vitamin C, don't drink caffeine all day, and try not to drink coffee in close proximity to your vitamin C and your iron. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you can at the bottom of this video. Um, I'll be sure to read the comments and answer any questions you may have. And as always, thank you for watching.